Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, please ignite Denver. Let's give it up to Taj Moore. Thank you. Thank you. Here's my son. He's almost five, and he holds all the cards. Because he has what I want the most, his love. Could be your boss, or your spouse, your friends, your neighbors, anybody who has what you want and might just hold it hostage. Which means you are in a negotiation. You are always negotiating, whether you like it or not, whether you realize it or not. My hope, when we're done, is that you understand a different side to negotiation than you might have been thinking about. So there are two sides to negotiation. We usually think about um, getting what we want, but the other side is understanding what they want. All right? So when you're walking along a trail, you're not thinking about the end. You're using your senses to negotiate the trail. I'm going to teach you about the listening that we need to handle that first part of negotiation. I'll give you one mantra and two tips for tactical empathy. The mantra, slow it down. You have time, much more than you realize, much more than you think. Calm it down, slow it down. Take breaks, give it days. Tactical empathy tip number one, mirroring. Mirroring? Yes, you're going to reflect back. You're going to use the words that people are saying to you. You're going to, the, the last two or three things they say. Two or three things they say, exactly. This draws them out. They start to open up and unfold and reveal things so that you're able to understand their perspective. Taking perspective is a key to listening so that you can see where they're coming from. You can see what might be... Uh, motivating them in their side of the negotiation. And when you can take someone's perspective, it puts everything in a new light, it changes you. And it allows you to see if a storm is coming. It allows you, it allows you to tell uh, what is the emotional environment. That's especially important because if, if someone's charged up, they can't hear you. They need to know that you're listening to them. And you can show that by reflecting back what they've been saying and labeling it. So this is uh, using your own words to show that you understand what they're saying, to show the situation that you have. And the language is specific. You're going to say, it sounds like dot, 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 or it seems that dot, dot, dot. These are not I statements, you're not a part of it. You're talking about the puzzle that's in front of you so that you can both look at it and figure out how to solve it together. And when you can successfully do that, you engage the left hemisphere. Labeling is a rational part of your, your thinking. And that starts to take over the right side, which is emotional. It starts to turn the Hulk into Dr. Banner. Then you can have a conversation does it for you, it does it for them. There's no penalty for getting it wrong. If you mislabel, they'll tell you, and you just start over. In fact, they'll appreciate the chance to say no. No is empowering. And when you get it right, well, you have alignment. Suddenly, you hear those magic words, that's right, that's right, is your signal that there's been a shift. Your right means they're just trying to get rid of you. That's right. So the key to always being in negotiation is to always be listening. Slow it down, mirror, label. Those three things will help you build trust. And when you build trust enough, you can just ask for what you want and it'll come to you. Just like that. How you negotiate matters because we're modeling. They grow up fast. We also can make this a practice all the time, every day, just practice listening. 
Use the tactical empathy until it becomes second nature, and you'll be a star. Thank you.